Hi guys, welcome back to Radio City. I'm your host Sindhu Shweta, and I know you've missed us. We are back with yet another very, very, very fantastic episode of Blended Baby. This is going to be very much fun about makeup, beauty, skincare, everything in between that you could have asked for. Today we have somebody who's not only just a style icon but also knows how to blend it right. Please welcome. I'm going to introduce you by her Instagram handle, Style Pataka. Hi, Mishita. How Hi. are you? Thank you so much to uh, get me on this, and I'm super excited. So are we. Uh, but before we move on to anything else, I think we have a very, very pretty distraction over here. Can we please have her in front of the sure. camera? Okay. Yeah, I was the distra <laughs> distraction I was talking about. She's so cute, isn't Hi. she? Look at the camera. Look at the camera. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> how did your makeup journey start? I mean, how did you? How was your? Were you always inclined towards makeup? Yes, I think I've seen uh, my mom do my makeup since. Like she used to do her makeup, and she was the inspiration always. And I used to always wait, you know, that mummy's makeup will be done, and then she'll apply the liner to me. So I used to be like, "Ki ha, I'm ready now. Apply liner." So eyeliner, these small small things like a lipstick or right. an eyeliner, and I used to love putting kajal. I used to just love it. So every time I, my mom is not around or something, I used to pick the kajal and just apply it on my waterline. Ki you know, kuch definition yes. aa raha hai. So aur mera makeup ho gaya. That was my whole thing. So I will leave you to it. So okay. you can just start. Uh, you know, glamming up. Right. But before that, why don't you introduce our uh, viewers to your entire vanity kit oh, that okay. you have over <laughs> here? This is just one percent of what I have, but it's still a lot for a wow. lot of people. I I have. This is my hundred <laughs> percent. <laughs> like the name suggests, blended. It's just blending in with the festivities and getting your uh, you know pataka ness right. So I'm gonna do that right now. Okay, so first I'm going to just put all my hair behind to create like a canvas. I'm going to start with a serum. Because sometimes when you don't feel like doing makeup, I think skincare plays that role of giving you that glow. You should always start with a serum. I think that creates like the base for a healthy glow. Uh, you should top it up with a moisturizer, and the most important is a sunscreen. You should never ever leave your house, or in fact, even when you're in the house. Like if I have sunlight coming in right now, it's the sunblock that matters. There's a uh, say myth or something that's. Uh, you know, quite popular amongst uh, people, especially women, that you don't need sunscreen during the night time. Is that true? Uh, no, it's totally false. You need skin care, uh, sunscreen all the time. So if you include it in your daily routine, like in the night as well, because of the harsh light sometimes, that also affects your skin. So not top it in, uh, topping it with like a three finger rule. Uh, you could use just one finger and then apply it in your on your skin in the night as well. All right. So what are we doing next? Uh, we are applying a thin layer of foundation. So I'm using a flat brush to just apply it mm -hmm. on my skin. And we're going to blend it later with a damp beauty blender. Blend it, yeah. <laughs> So, how should one choose um, the perfect foundation tone for themselves? Uh, the best way is to go to a store and not buy it online. Go to a store, check with the uh, foundation in this particular area because this is the best uh, match that it will give you. And yeah, so I generally use like a patch. I do a patch test right here to get my perfect shade. I'm going to use like a damp beauty blender and just blend so there is no patches or anything. What's your favorite part about glamming up and uh, dolling up? Clicking a lot of pictures. <laughs> now I'm starting with a concealer. I use a hydrating concealer because I have dark circles and I think that just helps me keeping them hydrated and I use one shade lighter to my skin tone because I like that highlight. 
I'm going to again use a blender to blend it. We are now going to set my under eyes with a loose powder. I'm again using a beauty blender and just dabbing the product. Once you're done setting your face with loose powder, you take any fixing spray that you have and just spray your damp blender. You then use a compact. You can use any compact. Just take the product on the blender and then work it up under eyes. This just sets your under eyes and the whole base in fact for the festive season. So if you go playing Garba and Dandia, your makeup is not moving. So now we are going on to the eyes. So I'm first using a darker brown. I'm just dabbing the excess. I'm going to work it up at the outer corner of my eye. You're just placing it first and then once you feel that you've placed enough, you'll start blending. Now I'm using a small sponge brush. I'm again using a fixing spray and I'm going to pick on the glitter. What a fixing spray generally does is helps you place the product and also intensifies the look of it. So here's the product. I'm using a darker brown shade and just smoking my lower lash line. So now I'm going to use like a black eyeshadow to just create a smoky wing. So I'm going to start placing it very close to my lash line. The key here is first place and then blend. So if you start blending, you'll have a lot of fallout. Now I'm using a blending brush and just going to blend very softly. Creating smoky eyes is all about blending. So you deposit any product, make sure you blend it. Now I'm using a normal liquid liner to just intensify the look. It's festive time and I want to look all chiseled so I'm going to use a bronzer to give me those cheekbones. One more hack, kabhi kabhi extra lag jata hai. So I'm just going to use the same damp blender and try picking up the product with the back of the blender. So now I am also topping my cheeks with a little bit of powder blush. We are now doing my brows. Uh, I have bushy brows and dense brows. So what I do is generally just brush them in upward direction and then use a color that's 99% matching my brows because my brows are too dark and then just filling it in. Whenever you're filling your brows, make sure to do lighter strokes than pushing the product into your brows because that gives a natural look. And now I'm going to use the spoolie and just brush it off again for that natural look. Okay, we are back to the eyes now. I'm using a nice glitter liner to just intensify the inner corner of my eye. Now the final step for the eyes is the mascara. We are using a makeup fixing spray to set everything in so that I'm ready to go and play Garba. So we are going to do that right now. And the last step is a nice amount of gloss. I've used a matte lipstick under and used a gloss above. So whatever happens, the gloss can move but not the lipstick. And I'm ready for the Garba season and for the festive season. I hope you guys like it.
रग रग में दौड़े सिटी